Hi, I am super excited to bring you a tapping video all about how to release anxiety from a trigger. So first things first, if you've never tapped before, I will just show you the points. So you start by tapping on the side of the hand and don't worry, I'm gonna do it with you so you'll be able to follow along. So we'll set up here and then we'll have a pause and then we'll do what is called a full round. So it'll be the top of the head, you can do one hand or two hands, the insides of the eyebrows, the outsides of the eyes, underneath the eyes, underneath the nose. If you have long nails, you can do it sideways, underneath the mouth and that divot of the chin, and then just below the collarbones, where your bra strap is. And again, you can do one hand or both hands, and then the wrists. And we'll just cycle through those and you'll repeat after me. But first, before we get into the tapping, I want you to just close your eyes and then bring to mind a recent trigger, something that made you anxious. And allow yourself to feel that anxiety in your body. And just noticing how the body feels. In tapping, we never are going to bypass feelings. We really want to acknowledge them before we can shift them. All right. Then when you feel ready, gently blink the eyes open. Maybe a little roll of the shoulders. And then we'll start tapping on the side of the hand. And just repeat out loud after me. I got really fucking triggered recently and it was challenging. It got me feeling really anxious and insert feeling here. And it had me feeling not safe. It sent me back to a childhood experience. It sent me back to a time in my life when I was not safe. But the thing is now, I am safe. I'm sitting here tapping on my hand in the privacy of my own home. I'm an adult. And I know that this triggered part of me is my inner child. And my inner child has just been activated by this trigger. And so I'm not gonna make her wrong or them wrong or him wrong. I'm going to see their hurt, see it as an opportunity to really acknowledge that pain my inner child is still carrying. And instead of shaming myself for triggering, being triggered, and instead of repressing the reaction I'm having, I'm gonna see it as an opportunity to love on myself even more. An opportunity to love myself more deeply. An opportunity to give my inner child what they didn't get when they were younger. And how fucking cool is it that I have the power to do that now? I get to give myself and my inner child all the things they didn't receive when they were younger. And I know my inner child is in good hands because my inner child is in my fucking hands. And so even though I got triggered recently, I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And maybe, just maybe, I could begin to become grateful for the trigger. 
doesn't make whatever happened that triggered me okay. But it does mean I can see how the trigger is an opportunity for me to see what is still hurting. And only by becoming aware of what is hurting can I heal it. So even if that's just dipping my toe in the pool of, of gratitude, I'm ready to do that, to go boop. <laughs> and be open to the possibility that I can release this trigger. That I can release this trigger from my nervous system. And trust that this tapping, however weird or strange it feels, is going to shift something today. Okay, take a deep breath in. Gently let it go. Just check in with how you're feeling. If you feel like you need to get into the body and move something around, go for it. I always find I need to go and move. And if you're feeling anything in the heart space, you can bring your hands to your heart and just give it a little, a little rub, a little gentle massage. Just being there for yourself because you've got you. And then when you are ready, we are gonna start again for the second round on the top of the head. I got really triggered. And I kind of resent it. Why am I the one who needs to carry around these triggers when it wasn't my fault that the traumas happened to me in the first place. Whatever it was that happened in the past was not my fault. And so it's frustrating that I have to take responsibility for healing it. And so even though I feel resistance to having these triggers and to actually healing them, I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I'm opened, open to shifting this resistance. Otherwise, I would not be sitting here tapping on my body. And I'm actually shifting something right now by tapping. So even though this thing that triggered me activated my anxiety, it activated insert feeling here. I still deeply and completely love, accept, and forgive myself. And I'm ready to fucking release this trigger from my system. I know that the trigger is just there to keep me safe. My body and my system had to react to be on guard, to keep me safe as a child. But I am not a child anymore. So I do not need this trauma response. It is safe for me to release this response. It is safe for me to feel safe in my body because I have the power to cultivate that safety. I can walk away from a triggering situation. I can self-regulate after a triggering situation. And I can learn from each triggering situation. Because I am not a little kid anymore. 
And so, yeah, it's frustrating that I have this trigger in the first place. But it's really fucking cool that I get to choose what I make it mean. I can't control what the people around me do. But what I can control is how I respond. I might not be able to control the reaction, the triggered reaction, but I can control how I respond to that trigger. Do I blame myself and shame myself for being hurt? Or do I see it as a beautiful reminder to love myself harder? To really dial up the self-care and dial up the self-love. Because I am deserving of healing. I am deserving of love. And I can give myself that love that my inner child so desperately craves. So I'm ready to release this trigger from my body. Literally release it at a systemic level. And I'm open to being grateful for having the trigger in the first place. Because it showed me where I'm still hurting. It showed me the cracks that need more love. And I get to love my way into being healed. I can't control when or if I'll be triggered in the future. But I can code it into my brain quite literally that whenever I am triggered, I respond with love. And that whenever I'm triggered, I tap it out. Because that is in my power. And I'm fucking grateful for that. I am done shaming my way into repressing emotions. I am done beating myself up because no one ever criticized themselves into healing anyway. And do I really think I'm gonna be the first person to do that? Probably not. So I'm ready to release this trigger. Heal on a deeper level. And acknowledge my power to always respond with love and kindness to myself. Okay, take a deep breath in. And side out. <sighs> I hope this was helpful for you. Please let me know how it landed. If you feel like you need to do it again, please come back to this as much as you need to. The beauty of tapping is that you can never do it too much. Um, and you'll know that it's shifted when you're doing the tapping and it begins to feel kind of silly. So that's all I've got for today. I am so open to taking requests. So if you have anything you'd like to tap on, send me a DM or drop me a comment. And I wish you a beautiful and magical day. Mwah.